this tutorial, I want to give you a few tips on shooting. So number one, when you have a chance to take a shot in the game, take it. Don't hesitate. Don't make the pass instead and regret it. If you know it was a good shooting opportunity, I want you to take it. I'd rather you take it and miss than be hesitant, doubt yourself, and give that opportunity away, okay? You'll learn much quicker, you'll become much better. So want to take your shots, want to get them off. Every opportunity you have, take the shot. Also your mentality, when I'm about to shoot, I can't be thinking about everything that could go wrong. Missing the net, the goalkeeper saving it, everyone yelling at me, the defender coming to tackle me, okay? All you can focus on is being present and focusing on your shooting technique. So let's talk about technique. First of all, before we talk about power and accuracy, get your shots on target. If you're trying to blast it as hard as you can, you're always missing the net, it doesn't matter how hard you can kick the ball. So you have to get it on target and you'll learn what it takes. That's why you're out here at the field practicing, but sometimes you might be off balance when you're shooting, sometimes the ball is stuck in your feet, sometimes it's on your right, on your left. You have to figure out how do I get it on target consistently. And once you can do that, then you can start adding more power. So how do you generate power? Well, first I want you to think about your foot technique. Make your foot strong. Lock your ankle, your toes are down. If you're hitting with your laces, even if you're using the inside or the outside of your foot, okay, you want that flexed foot and what I like to call pure technique. So if I'm hitting that ball and my foot is going weak, like that through the shot, it's gonna be a weak shot. You wanna keep your foot flexed, your ankle flexed, everything nice and strong through the ball. That's the first step to power. Second is the speed at which you produce this motion, okay? So the slower I do this, the less power I'm gonna have on my shot. The quicker I can do that with good technique, good foot technique, the more power I'll generate. So foot technique, speed of your swing, and also the range of your swing. I can generate more power from a bigger backswing and a bigger follow through. If I just have a little backswing and a little follow through, it's really tough for me to generate power. So think about those three things when you're practicing on the field. Accuracy, I really wanna think about guiding the ball with my foot. So what I mean by that is, if I'm trying to put it into that corner over there, I have to push it like that, as you can see, okay? If I wanna push it into the left corner, I want to, as I release the ball, I wanna see myself, my foot, my leg, pushing it, guiding it, okay? A lot of us were just like chopping at it. And every time you take a shot, stop and look at your foot. Where was it pointing? Okay, so your foot technique is one thing, then your body positioning. If I wanted to go into that corner, I want my body to finish facing that corner. If my body's ending up like this, then you're probably gonna pull your shot to the side like that. Okay, so accuracy, really think about guiding it, really pushing it there. If you wanna use the inside of your foot or the outside of your foot, I wanna push it there with my foot, I wanna push it there with my body. So those are two things I want you to think about when it comes to accuracy, power, but like I said guys, most important is you're getting consistent, you're getting the ball on target as often as possible. Hey, what's going on? This is Dylan Tubi of Progressive Soccer Training. I hope you enjoyed that video. This was actually a look into the new program I'm releasing, the Match Winner Method. Become a game changer, improve your performances, and maximize your match stats in 21 days. This program will be released on December 21st. Please subscribe to my channel for updates and related information.